What is up, guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. I'm John the Potter. So good to have you in the studio today. So we're back. We're back from a brief period of non-YouTube. So yeah, we took a couple weeks off because uh, we just had a second baby, Rory. That's the last time you guys saw me. And that's the longest break that we've had since I started this channel in February of 2018. So over 18 months, that's the first two weeks that I've taken off uh, from not uploading videos. So I am excited to be back and making videos. You guys ready? Have you missed them? Have you missed the videos? I'm genuinely curious for people like, hey, where's John the Potter? Or did nobody care? So let me know in the comments if you missed the videos. We had our biggest art show of the year, the Art Wander, which was super fun. We did really well and I saw a bunch of you guys come out and buy some pots and meet me. It was really fun. So, and we've just been getting used to having a newborn baby because that involves lots of not sleeping and changing diapers and stuff. So, but it's been good. Rory and Ryder and ECR are all doing well. This video is a typical day in the studio. So we are just gonna, we got some mugs to throw. We got a kiln to unload. We're gonna throw some pots. We're throwing some 20 ounce mugs for Mocha Monkey. We're really low on those. And then just like some plain sandstone mugs and some plain winter wood mugs. Those sold really well at the Art Wander. So coming up for a typical uh, Christmas season, we stock up on those things that were really popular during the Art Wander. So that's kind of like the flow of the year. And we're doing an Etsy restock pretty soon. Bowls, coffee pour over, some mugs. Pretty much everything in this box. Some wood grain texture. Can you see that? Those have been really cool. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna take pictures of this stuff, put them up on Etsy. Hopefully sometime next week we'll do the Etsy restock. You ready for this? I'm so excited to be back. So excited to be back filming videos. I have been working in the studio quite a bit. Check this out. Check out this cake platter I made right here. I'm using it as a camera stand right now. So here is some typical day in the studio stuff. Ready? So I'm measuring out about a pound and a quarter. So one pound, four ounces, a little bit over that. And that's gonna make about a 20 ounce, 20 ounce mug. Boom. I do clean it often. All right, we got water. We got tools. Sponge is the number one tool right there. This is my other favorite tool. A little trim tool from Old Forge Creations. All right, you guys ready for this thing? We got clay, we got bats. This is probably my favorite, my favorite part of the whole pottery process besides unloading the kiln when everything's finished is like when you have your reel ready, when you have your balls of clay ready, and all you have to do is just start making stuff. That's the best. Isn't that the best? What's your favorite part? What do you love the most? Probably do one at normal speed and then just speed up the rest. Unless you want this to be like a two hour video. Here we go. So whenever I'm throwing mugs that are for the coffee shop, I always make them a little thicker because they get pretty, they get pretty abused, getting washed like 25 times a day or more. So I'll keep the lip pretty thick. just so excited to get going. I didn't quite get it perfectly centered. All right, there's one.
All right, friends. So we got eight smaller mugs, nine or ish 20 ounce mugs. We got those thrown. Took us, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes. You saw some of that. Now we got some kilns to unload. So we have both. So this kiln's a glazed kiln and it's full. Take a sneak peek in there. That looks cool. I'll get a better shot of that, don't worry. And then this one is completely full. Check that out of a ton of mugs. So this one has, I'm making a bunch of these mocha. Dang it. So this one we have a bunch of mocha monkey mugs. We have a bunch of, whoops, marbled. So this marbled is like this blue and this green and it'll come out and it'll be really dark. Check out that handle too. It's a little bit different handle. That's for a future video, how I'm making those handles. And then what else we got? We got, oh, we're doing this custom order for a guy and it's for the Wit Black Music Foundation. Can you see that? So he sent me the stamps for this logo and uh, I said that I would do the order for him, which I don't do very often, but it's a pretty big order, so. But basically, yeah, so we're gonna unload this kiln, get it all unloaded, and then that's gonna be quite a bit of work to get, because we gotta put like glaze or underglaze or something in there, and then we gotta wax on top of it before we glaze it. So we gotta do that for all of these mugs, and we gotta do that for all the Mocha Monkey mugs, which that will take a while, so. So here's a little sneak peek. Woo, it's hot, 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 hot. So this is, um. Ooh, I really like that, that's super cool. This is a new tester one that I'm doing. So this is the Peacock Glaze from Mako, and then this is Aurora Green on top of it with quite a bit of those crystals on top. This is that, this is that Peacock with um, sandstone on top, which, whoo, that's cool. I like it, I like it. So we're at 165 right now, and you know, I don't typically unload it when it's that hot. Like I'll wait till it's like 100 degrees, even though I know you can unload it earlier than that. But sometimes I do feel like bowls warp a little bit more if you unload them at higher temperatures. And so it's like, I'm not, like I don't have to get these out for any reason. So I might as well just wait. Check that bowl out. And that bowl too, look at that. That's cool. And that's super cool. Super excited about this idea. Um, so it's the hand warming mug, right? Like I made a video about how to make this a couple, like last year. So it's this like pocket mug. I'm not gonna call it a hand warming mug because that already exists. Someone already makes the hand warming mug. This will be the pocket, I don't know. Comment below with what you think this should be named because I struggle with what the name should be. The finger warming pocket mug of destiny. I don't know, but I made it so that it like spirals in there. I, this is like, I can't believe I'm telling you this cause this is like trade secret. So a friend of mine, Brian had this idea. So I guess I can tell you cause it was Brian's idea. Uh, instead of like just keeping the wheel spinning the same way and doing the spiral, because for a right hander, your hand actually fits into the grooves of the spiral better if the spiral is opposite. So for every one of these, there's like 20 of them over there. I would throw it and then I would turn the wheel to spin the opposite way and then spiral it so that your fingers fit in there. And then I put the pocket on the outside. So I think it's super cool. They're, they're not easy to make, so I'll have to charge a lot for them, but I liked making them better this way than I did making them the old way that I did. So who knows? New bestseller for Christmas? I think it could be. What do you guys think? I need a name for it though, so help me out there. That's a lot of glazing that we gotta do right there. Right there and over there. Typical day in the studio, I usually always unload kilns as quick as I can if I can get to them because it's just so exciting. That's cool. Whoa. Ah, it's so hot. All right, it's too hot. I'm not unloading it. I'm not unloading it today. You guys got to see lots of stuff in this video. So typical day in the studio, right? We did some throwing. I always like to start with throwing because A, it's my favorite. B, like if you throw first, then there's a chance that you'll be able to 
like do something with the throne pieces later in the day. So like I'll be able to probably flip those all over those mugs before I go to bed tonight. Whereas if I throw the pots, well, now that the studio's at my house, if I throw the pots at like 10 o'clock at night, then I can just leave and sit out overnight and then go get them at like six o'clock the next morning. So, but I used to have to always think about like, oh, if I'm gonna leave, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, this is cool. Midnight rain over orange gloss. You guys, I so appreciate all you subscribers. Thank you guys to everyone on the Patreon page, the patrons on Patreon. Can't say thanks enough. You guys are supporting JTP videos. We're coming, we're gonna go back to at least one a week. Uh, Cause I think if I go to one a week, then I'm really gonna be able to like nail some super high quality videos. Um, like the marbling, the, te the tutorial about marbling, the tutorial about the crackle technique. Crackle, right here. See the crackle technique on the outside here? Got, an, got one coming about that. So I'm gonna focus on a little higher quality videos, a little less quantity, but with Christmas coming, we're gonna be making lots of pots. We're gonna be doing lots of stuff in the studio. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment, all the things. We'll see you guys in the next video. I'm so pumped. Can you hear how pumped I am in my voice? I am pumped. <laughs> Not pumped that there's no wakeboarding in this season anymore. Not pumped about that. Holy Hannah. This was the first one. When I tried to do the opposite spiral, I was terrible at it. But then after a couple, I got very good. Actually, I think I'm almost better at the spiraling backwards than I am at the forwards because, I don't know, I just like think about it more when I'm doing it backwards. But if you've never tried to throw, I actually, I don't suggest that at all. That's a stupid idea. I was gonna say like, it'd be good for you to try throwing backwards, but why? That's dumb. I can't throw backwards. All right, comment below if there's any other videos you guys wanna see, I'm always looking for ideas. Something I can get excited about making. All right, peace!